All right, everyone, what is going on? I hope you are doing very well. Welcome back to my channel if you have been here before, and welcome for the first time if you are new. And if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there because I'm going to have a lot of other awesome stuff coming in the future, similar to this regarding Disney cars, which is a great thing to be talked about. So, yeah. Hope you know what I mean. So anyway, today we are going to be reviewing what is actually the first deluxe um, die cast on this channel. The very first deluxe, which is amazing. And obviously we will be reviewing lots of other deluxes in the future. That is the idea. But anyway, today we are reviewing Frank the Combine, who is a very famous character sort of adversary in a sense from the first Cars movie in Radiator Springs of course you know when he chases Mater and McQueen so very iconic and very cool I will definitely like this die cast a lot definitely has to be one of my favorite deluxe die casts it is just very unique and it is fairly big so this guy is no doubt very cool and of course to show him with Mater and McQueen as if he was chasing them like he did. So he is obviously a lot bigger because he's a deluxe. However, in my opinion, the scale is not really spot on. I think he would actually be a bit bigger than they show him, but oh well. It's still really pretty good. So all that stuff being said, that was a whole lot of me rambling and talking. Let us jump into the actual review where we take a close-up look at Frank the Combine here. So here is Frank. He is very cool. Uh, definitely one of the most iconic characters from the first Cars movie in Radiator Springs. He is not a Tylen version. This is uh, what I got, I believe, in... 2018 or 19 so it is not the Thailand however the eyes still look very good he has angry blue eyes separated windows right there so almost looks like glasses except obviously it's not that would be weird if a bull was wearing glasses but anyway there is the nose ring for in case anyone in Raider Springs needs that thing to drag him around or something and it's very hard to see but there is some detail given for the mouth in there under the nose ring. Let's see if I can point to it. Okay. So yeah, there is a, that's where the mouth would be, right in there. They do not paint the teeth, which is a little bit too bad, but I mean, it's not really such a big deal. Overall, it looks really good. And then here is the turbine with lots of speckles of dirt and grime or maybe plants or who knows what but it definitely is a really cool added texture that they gave it it this this part this whole front part here this is all plastic this part is the die cast part back here but a lot of it is plastic the turbine can spin it is yeah sort of can spin but it's a little bit difficult to get it to but at least it can the window on the side there is just painted uh, dark gray as it is on the other side as well and I really like his design all over him he has these little speckles of like maybe dirt or maybe it represents rust so that's definitely a really nice uh, good touch that they added to make it a lot more interesting than it would be if otherwise if it didn't have all of that stuff going on right back here I'm not sure what that is that looks like something that opens up and maybe throws out the grain maybe but anyway they've painted it silver and dark gray we have the same little detail on the back and I actually didn't know that this thing actually moves until I was going to make this video I had no idea that it did that but that's cool so that can move actually I think this thing like spits out the grain or something like into the dump truck or whatever I don't know but then they have give us let me adjust this thing here All right they give us a big wheel with lots of speckles and everything on this side plus on the back they give us two small wheels 
which can roll. It makes a cool sound when it does. And on the bottom here, it's just plastic, no mechanical detailing, but that's okay because they did give us a lot of detailing. This deluxe character is definitely worth your $8, let me tell you. He's really cool. And obviously here we have the, not sure what those would actually be, not antennas. I'm not really sure what that would be, but they can kind of serve as horns since he's supposed to be a bull. That looks like lights, maybe? Like that's supposed to be, these are some sort of lights or reflectors, something like that. But anyway, overall, yeah, this guy is really cool. Definitely like him. One of the more iconic Radiator Springs characters, no doubt. So yeah, not a whole lot else to say about this guy. This guy is really cool. Definitely like Frank a lot. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And uh, over and out, I'll see you guys next time.